Hello, travelers. It's Anthony, and welcome back to the Travel Droner channel. I'm excited about today's video featuring our ultimate Shanghai travel guide. This video will take you on a journey through one of China's most vibrant and dynamic cities. Whether you're a first-time visitor or a seasoned traveler, we'll show you the best things to do, see, and experience during your stay. Get ready to explore iconic landmarks, hidden gems, delicious food, and unique cultural experiences. So please sit back, relax, and let's dive into the sights and sounds of Shanghai. Number one, the Bund. Ah, the Bund. The one spot in Shanghai where you can get an unobstructed view of the city skyline without being swarmed by tourists trying to take the perfect selfie. This waterfront promenade stretches 1.5 kilometers along the Wangpu River and is home to some of the most beautiful historical buildings you'll ever see. You'll be greeted by a mix of architectural styles, from Baroque to Gothic to Art Deco, which is like a visual roller coaster ride for your eyeballs. But let's get honest: the real magic happens when the sun goes down and the buildings light up like a Christmas tree on steroids. Trust me, you'll want to snap a few photos and post them on Instagram to make all your friends jealous. And if you're feeling adventurous or lazy, ride on the Bun Sightseeing Tunnel, an underground tunnel connecting the Bun to the Pudong Financial District. The light show during this ride is like nothing you've ever seen before. Before, and it's the perfect way to travel if you're too scared to cross the Wangpu River on a rickety old boat. Number two, Yu Garden. Get ready to be dazzled because we're talking about Yu Garden, a classical Chinese garden that's been around since the Ming Dynasty. That's right, this garden has been around longer than sliced bread. It's like stepping into a time machine, and once you step into this garden, you'll be transported to a new world of peace and tranquility. It's like stepping into a time machine and traveling back to ancient China, except without the risk of getting stuck in the past. Because let's face it, modern-day toilets are way better. But don't let the garden's peaceful vibes fool you. Plenty of action can be had. You can explore the maze-like paths and corridors, which are like a real-life version of a video game. And let's not forget about the exquisite jade rock. It's like a rock star in the garden world. This two billion year old rock is so unique that some believe the gods carved it. Who needs the Rolling Stones when you have a rock like that? And if you're feeling parched after all that exploring, head to one of the garden's tea houses to sample some of China's finest tea. It's a spa day for your taste buds. But the real party happens during the Spring Festival when the garden is decked out in vibrant lanterns and other decorations to celebrate the Chinese New Year. It's like the garden has put on its best party outfit and is ready to dance the night away. Okay, travelers, the sponsor of today's video is SEOServiceAgents.com. Negotiated a discount code for all my viewers to get you a 20% discount on your first order with SEOServiceAgents.com. There's a link in the description. The discount code is TravelDroner. Contact them for a free audit today. Thank you, SEO Service Agents, for sponsoring this video. Now, let us continue with the video. Number three, Oriental Pearl Tower. Are you ready to reach new heights? Hold tight because we're talking about the Oriental Pearl Tower, the shining beacon of modernity in Shanghai skyline. This tower is a futuristic masterpiece, standing tall at 468 meters and towering over the city like a boss. It's like a giant lighthouse, except instead of guiding ships, it guides tourists to the most epic views of Shanghai. But it's not just the views that make this tower special, it's the design. With three massive spheres stacked on each other, this tower is like a giant game of Jenga that nobody wants to lose, especially not the architects. Take a ride up to the observation deck and you'll be treated to some of the most jaw-dropping views of Shanghai you could imagine. And if you're feeling extra brave, take a walk on the glass floor and look down at the tiny ants scurrying below. It's like walking on sunshine, except without the sunshine. Because let's be real, this is China we're talking about. But if that's not enough of a thrill for you, why not try Skywalk? It's an extreme sport for adrenaline junkies, except without the risk of crashing into a tree, because trees don't grow at 468 meters. 
And if you're a James Bond fan, you might recognize the Oriental Pearl Tower from the movie Tomorrow Never Dies. It's like being in a real-life action movie, except without the exploding helicopters. Thank goodness. Number 4. Shanghai Museum if you're a history buff or an art lover, then the Shanghai Museum is a must-visit destination on your trip to Shanghai. Located in the city's heart, this museum is a Chinese art and artifacts treasure trove. The museum has over 120,000 items, including ancient bronze sculptures, pottery, jade carvings, calligraphy, and paintings spanning over 5,000 years of Chinese history. It's like stepping back in time and immersing yourself in China's rich cultural heritage. The museum is a work of art with a unique circular design that symbolizes the ancient Chinese belief that heaven is round and the earth is square. The building is like a giant donut, except instead of sugar glaze, it's glazed with cultural significance. One of the museum's most famous artifacts is the Jade Burial Site of Lu Shang, a Han Dynasty prince. The suit is made entirely of jade pieces, and it's said to have been buried with the prince to protect him in the afterlife. It's like the ultimate fashion statement, except it's 2,000 years old. But the museum isn't just about ancient artifacts. It also has a vast collection of contemporary art, showcasing the best of China's modern art scene. The museum has everything from oil paintings to sculptures, making it a hub for traditional and contemporary art enthusiasts. And the best part, the museum is completely free to enter. It's a cultural oasis in the heart of Shanghai, offering visitors a chance to learn about Chinese history and art without breaking the bank. Number 5. Nanjing Road Nanjing Road is the ultimate shopping haven for fashionistas and foodies alike. This bustling street is one of Shanghai's most famous shopping destinations, featuring many high-end stores, boutiques, and restaurants. Nanjing Road is like a beacon of consumerism, drawing in shoppers worldwide with its bright lights and towering billboards. Whether looking for the latest fashion trends, luxury brands, or unique souvenirs, this street has got you covered. One of the highlights of Nanjing Road is the Shanghai number one department store, which is like a shopping paradise for those who love luxury goods. It's a wonderland of high-end fashion and cosmetics featuring brands like Chanel, Gucci, and Dior. It's a dream come true for anyone who loves to shop until they drop and then keep shopping. But Nanjing Road isn't just about high-end brands. It also has a wide range of boutiques and shops offering unique and affordable items, from handmade jewelry to traditional Chinese silk clothing. This street is a treasure trove of hidden gems waiting to be discovered. And if you're feeling hungry after all that shopping, Nanjing Road has got you covered with many dining options. This street is a food lover's paradise. From fancy restaurants to street food vendors, try local specialties like soup dumplings, fried rice cakes, or crispy scallion pancakes. Your taste buds will thank you. If you enjoy our videos, join us on our journey worldwide by subscribing to our channel. Please click the bell icon to get notified when we publish a new video. Number 6. Shanghai Tower Shanghai Tower is a towering beacon of modernity in the heart of Shanghai skyline. This 632-meter skyscraper is the tallest building in China and the second tallest in the world, offering visitors breathtaking views of the city from its observation deck. The tower is a modern marvel of architecture, featuring a unique spiraling design that symbolizes the traditional Chinese values of unity and harmony. It's a giant glass and steel twisting tower, reaching toward the sky like a futuristic monolith. But the tower isn't just a pretty sight. It's also a hub for business, entertainment, and sustainability. It's a microcosm of modern Shanghai, with offices, restaurants, hotels, and shopping centers within its walls. One of the tower's most impressive features is its observation deck, a window to the city's soul. From here, visitors can take panoramic views of Shanghai's skyline, including the iconic Oriental Pearl Tower and the Wangpu River. It's like a bird's eye view of the city's history and culture, stretching out before you like a living tapestry. Number 7. Zhu Jia Jiao Water Town Zhu Jia Jiao Water Town is a hidden gem tucked away on the outskirts of Shanghai, offering visitors a glimpse into China's rich cultural heritage. This ancient town is like a time capsule, preserving China's past traditional architecture, winding waterways, and stone buildings. This town is a maze of narrow alleyways and canals, with ancient buildings, temples, and shops. It's a living museum of Chinese architecture, featuring ornate roofs, intricate carvings, and peaceful gardens. 
One of the highlights of Zujia Jiao Water Town is its beautiful waterways, which are the town's veins, winding through its heart and providing a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of modern Shanghai. Visitors can take a boat tour through the canals, watching the town's beauty unfold. Number 8. Shanghai French Concession Shanghai French Concession is a charming neighborhood that transports visitors to a different era. This former French colonial district blends European and Chinese cultures with tree-lined streets, old-fashioned architecture, and a relaxed atmosphere. Walking through the Shanghai French Concession is like stepping into a different world with its wide boulevards, Art Deco buildings, and leafy parks. Visitors can explore the area on foot or by bike, taking in the sights and sounds of this unique district. One of the highlights of the Shanghai French Concession is its array of cafes, restaurants, and bars, which are a haven for foodies and hipsters alike. Visitors can sample French pastries, sip coffee in quaint cafes, or indulge in a cocktail at a trendy rooftop bar. Number 9. Wangpu River Cruise a Wangpu River cruise is a chance to give your feet a break from all the walking around Shanghai and enjoy the sights from a new perspective on a boat, baby. It's a lazy river ride through the city's heart with some bonus history lessons thrown in. Gliding along the river, you'll feel like a VIP with front row seats to some of Shanghai's most impressive architectural feats. You'll see buildings that look like they belong in a sci-fi movie and others that harken back to a bygone era of colonialism and trade. But it's not just about the buildings. The Wangpu River Cruise is a chance to see the city in a new light. When the sun sets and the city lights up, it's like a new world. The skyline transforms into a dazzling display of neon lights, and you'll feel like you're in a scene from Blade Runner. And let's be real, the Wangpu River Cruise is a perfect date idea. What's more romantic than snuggling up with your significant other, sipping on a cocktail, and admiring the view? Whether you're a local or a tourist, this cruise is a must-do activity that will leave you with lasting memories and a newfound appreciation for Shanghai's beauty. Number 10. Tianji Fong Tianji Fong is a hidden gem that even Indiana Jones would be proud to discover. This charming area in the heart of Shanghai is a maze of narrow alleyways and traditional shikumen houses that have been given a hip and artistic makeover. Walking through Tianji Fong is like stepping into a time machine that takes you back to a time when life was simpler and buildings had character. The old stone buildings and cobblestone streets are a refreshing change from the shiny new buildings that dominate the city skyline. But don't be fooled by Tianji Fong's old school charm. This area is a hub of creativity and coolness. The boutiques in Tianji Fong are a fashionista's paradise with unique finds and one of a kind pieces that will make you the envy of all your friends. Friends. Art lovers will also feel like they've hit the jackpot in Tianji Fong, with numerous galleries showcasing the works of both local and international artists. And let's not forget about the food and drink. It's a gastronomic adventure waiting to happen. Whether you're in the mood for traditional Chinese snacks or international cuisine, there's something for every palate. So, if you're looking for a break from the mainstream tourist spots, Tianji Fong is a must-visit destination that will leave you feeling inspired, full, and fashionable. That wraps up today's videos. Thank you for watching our Ultimate Shanghai Travel Guide. We hope you enjoyed exploring the city with us. If you're planning a trip to Shanghai or love travel and adventure, subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. And if you have any suggestions or recommendations for future travel destinations, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you at the next one.